I want you around me all the time. Girl, I'll be the best friend. If you promise you'll be mine. Girl, promise you'll be mine. He said he's just a friend. Uh huh. Now, girl, let's not pretend. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking My Way with your girl Nifa and Stara. Stara. Um, today we just I'm just preparing my thanks Thanksgiving food. I'm preparing my Easter meal, and we're gonna have jerk chicken. Mmm, the too delicious. Um, some rice, mm, jasmine what? rice, her favorite. Our favorite and um let me see I'm gonna I'm gonna make some um collard greens and turnips together but they coming out the can y'all so don't judge me I just didn't have the funds to get the fresh ones okay so I'm improvising with the can and I'll show y'all a little bit later in the video on that one and um we're gonna make some we're gonna make a salad, a Watergate salad. Some of you may call it another name, I don't know. But we're gonna make a salad. And right now, what goes in that salad is open this package. Okay. We got some um what is it called? Pistachio jello pudding. Mm -hmm. Is it jello pudding? Pista this is what it is. Yep. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button, and what are you waiting for? It's free! Okay, so hold this camera. Okay. Hold on, I gotta open it. Yeah, put it on there. Good. Perfect. So, start being my cameraman. That's all right. So, camera girl. Mm -hmm. So, we added our, um, stuff. Pistachio Jello. Okay, next we gonna add in our oh. Cool Whip. Oh, I love Cool Whip. Open it. Okay. I'll open it for you. Wait, I can yeah. work the camera again. You can open it. No, you can open it. Thank you. You helping me. You helping me by opening it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get you a spoon. Thank you. Then pull wait, it. Wait, 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 not that. Open this for Here, yeah, you gonna have to hold the camera for me. Yep. I can't hold this. Crushed pineapples. The whole can. The whole can of. It got you on the screen. Crushed pineapples, okay? Uh-huh. And then we're going to add in our. um Whipped cream. Cool whip. Oh, I keep saying whipped cream. Well, I think I think that's enough. Let me just mix this up first. They didn't say drain it, so I don't know if it's supposed to be raw watery like this. It, it should be. Let me get that mixed up real good, okay? Why do you want to be all up in my face like this? Okay. I don't hear no crunchies on the bottom much. Right. Well, I hear them. Just a little bit. So, I'm going to just keep. That's the green that you want, okay? Oh, I got it on my arm. <laughs> How it tastes. Can you see me? Yep. It got you in a square. I don't want to be in a square. No, it, it got your face in what about now? What's in there now? So we're going to add in more whipped cream. Our Cool Whip. I keep seeing the cream. Let me step over here. Let me just mix that in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't put a um, like, lot, lot. Follow her rules. That's looking good already. Start putting on the food, not me. They know what I look like. Yeah. As long as they can hear me, they want to see the food. They don't want to see me. I don't think. Even if they did, okay. But yep, just whip that in like that, you guys. Make it nice and green and pretty. 
pretty princess color. Don't that look good? Okay, now I'm gonna add in my, put it on the food. Oh. My marshmallows. I don't always get name brand stuff, you guys. And I hope y'all don't eat them. Well, I'm I not like gonna say I don't hope y'all don't, but. I like this cake. Some of y'all might not even get. Well, I need a bigger bowl, huh? Mm -hmm. Like that red one. Some of y'all might not even um, buy always buy name brand stuff, but I had to get what my money couldn't af can't afford. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. That looks delicious. It does look delicious. I'm ready to eat it now. Me too. Say something that. All this is gonna be safe for him. So now, can you back that camera up? Nobody wants to see the food that close, okay? okay. Like, that would have been good. Okay, last we're gonna open up these uh, finely diced pecan. Can you uh, open that? Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure how to open that. I'm sorry, the camera's everywhere, y'all. It got you in a perfect square. Okay. I'm gonna add them all, because who don't like nuts, right? I don't. You might have you just mix it in there. You might the pipe to mix it? Hold, you hold it on there. Okay. Just like that. I want this to sit overnight, so that's why I'm making it er like early, a day before. And that's fine too, making it the day before. I'm pretty sure a whole lot of y'all cook the day before so y'all can have some things prepared and plus sometimes when food sit depending on what food it is that sit overnight the next day it tastes better and that's it and that's it on that that's all you have to do so yeah. thanks to my Stara for helping me out Ooh, I'm gonna taste it mm. Mm. Oh my god. If y'all never tried this before, try it. Mm -mm -mm. I gotta show y'all my meat. Hold on. Uh, Start, we're gonna try it. Yep. Mm. Really? Okay. Um, good. It's delicious. You like that? Good. It's not fat to eat y'all. But I got to show y'all. I did season up my meat. Dar ready. Like I said, I'm sorry this camera is everywhere. My cameraman is unavailable at the moment. I thought I'd just take it upon myself and do this. Now, what I did was I seasoned my meat. Well, actually, I cleaned my chicken first. And what we have is some chicken thighs and drumettes. So what I did was I cleaned my meat. I took my time and cleaned it. After I cleaned it, um, I just seasoned it with some jerk seasoning. Let me show y'all the seasoning that I use. I use mild jerk seasoning to um, season this with. I got some peppers and some onions, the red, the yellow, and the green peppers. And I put, <clears throat> sorry, fresh garlic in there. And I'm adding my own little uh, seasoning. I put a little salt, pepper, um, uh, accent, stuff like that. Season it up real good. Let it sit and marinate overnight. Tomorrow it'll be going in the oven at 350 degrees 
for about an hour and a half and it'll be ready. And I know y'all see my pigtails over here. That's for my um collard greens and um that's for my collard greens, y'all. And my collard greens and turnips. How do I keep calling it up? I keep forgetting what I'm cooking. But I kind of made this decision to cook for Easter at the last minute. I do have to work, but I will make sure my family has something to eat uh, before I go to work. So I love them and I want to make sure they have something to eat. So y'all stay tuned. I'm going to come back and show y'all um, the rest of the uh, food and stuff, okay? So I'm mixing up my eggs for my deviled eggs okay just breaking up the yolk just breaking it up y'all yeah. know y'all wanna know something something y'all wanna know something I didn't know how to boil an egg good until about maybe two years ago don't judge me but guess what I got it and I know how to boil an egg. The perfect way to boil an egg. Boil that egg, you got to put enough, you got to put the water to cover the egg. Turn it on high, let it boil, let it boil high for 10 minutes. Take it off, cover it, let it sit for a few minutes. Let it cool off. You have a perfect egg. Every single time. I promise. That's how I learned. Somebody had to teach me. Somebody had to teach us all. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I don't have any onions to put in my devil egg. I just got some helmets. Do I want to put that? I want, I want to put that first. I only have a little bit of relish left. That's all I had left. I really need some oil. So, I'm just gonna use what I have. And pray it's that good. But, I will put a little bit of this in it. Some crab meat going up in there. Mm -hmm. Give it a little more flavor. I'm different. Y'all forgot, cook it my way. Cook it. You know, I'm just like I'm just cutting it up. No, I'm not dicing. I got some red and green peppers to put in there. I'm just cutting it up real, real fine and putting it in there just like that. Okay. onions and peppers don't have much I don't really like that much onions and peppers in my own um, relish y'all know yeah I heard uh, mix it up really 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 good mm. get my little seasonings drop a little bit of that add some of this Add a lot of this. And let me see. Let me see if that's enough. After I finish mixing it and getting it to how I like it, I'm going to taste it and see if it's to my liking. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ooh. I put a lot of mayonnaise, y'all. Get in there, whip it up real good. Feel like I need to add a little more crab, huh? Whip it real hard. Definitely need some more seasoning. Um, <sighs> mm, garlic going? Yeah, I put we put a little bit of garlic. That much. 
That's the garlic salt. That means I don't have to add no salt. No salt. I'm trying to think what else to put in it. But that's gonna be the garnish. What it mean? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Add some salt. I'm gonna see what happens. You need some more accent in it. Accent? I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm not gonna put that much. And yes, I'm using my butter bowl because I don't know what I don't know where my bowl is at. We ghetto. We not ghetto. We just need <laughs> what we got. We know about eating cereal out of that bowl right there. You did? What? On um, crock what it is? On um, country crock? I mean rock country. What up? What country up? crock. <laughs> You got no butter bowl. What? I don't know what else to put in it. Just tastes like it's missing something. Like, I don't know. No salt? No. This is something I don't normally make, so. This show is a lot. Give it that little twang. I don't know. Y'all, this is the results of the devil egg. Finished. With that good old crab in there. I still got some batter. I still got some stuff left. So I made me a sandwich. Yeah, I made me a sandwich. I made me a sandwich. Yeah, I made me a sandwich. And guess what? Hey, guess what? Guess what type of salad I got? A like crab and cucumber salad. Lit. Nothing special. Oh. Definitely nothing. Excuse me, special. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Woo. That egg sandwich tastes good, huh? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna tear that up over there, y'all. And look at the, look how good them double eggs look like, Those man. Those do look good. They look scrumdilly And they is good. Like we found the, she found that season. Like you know, like you, <laughs> Chef Nifa. She don't believe it. The average person would not put crab inside there. So can they put shrimp, babe? Eh? I ain't never know that. It's my first time here. I didn't put shrimp. I just happened to add crab to it. I want to kick it up a notch, so I just did. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show y'all the rest of my meal. And I do the um the rice, my chicken. Y'all already seen the chicken marinating. The chicken, the rice, and my um collard greens and turnips. Time to turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Happy Easter. What I did was I opened up my can of Margaret Holmes. Seasoned collard greens and turnip greens and roots. Okay, so it's all seasoned. Why look? Why they can't? Cause I was having a hard time opening it. So what I'm gonna do? I put me some, some smoked pigtails. Some smoked pigtails is in there. So right down at the bottom. I'm gonna taste it. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some. Put some peppers, red and yellow green peppers in there. Let that cook down for a few minutes. 
gonna need to cook. I'm gonna put my meat in the oven, y'all. Why I'm putting butter? I don't know. I just felt like putting butter to keep it from sticking. Cause I do have um, I don't have no um, ain't no oil in the pan. So I'll put some. I already know y'all coming for me on that. It's just a little more than a half a stick of butter, okay? But I don't know. I just I just got a feeling. I got a feeling doing what I'm doing is um baking fish. I'm put one more one more one more piece. I got my rice cooking. What I did was wash my rice. After I wash my rice, I put a I put a um I put half water and half um chicken stock. Huh? What's chicken stock? Um, I have put half of this in there. <laughs> so I put half of this in half water. Well, actually, all of this in uh, half water to it. So, don't slam it. Some of y'all don't know. You let your rice boil on high or eight, whatever. What when the water boils out, you turn it on low and cover it. 15 minutes, your rice is ready. <laughs> and you're gonna cover your rice. Cover the com cover your rice like completely. Cover it. <laughs> that makes sense. Completely. Basically, yeah. make the steam cook it. Yeah, completely cover the rice with water. Don't put that camera on me. I don't look it right today. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'll be back in to show y'all the um finishing touch. That's right. I love seeing which steps you're gonna say. And it's going in. All right, you guys, this is the end of my cooking, okay? So we have here, we have our deviled eggs with crab meat. We got some Hawaiian rolls, jerk chicken. We got uh, collard greens and turnip greens with pigtails and some white rice here. So if y'all like this dish, comment down below. Let me know how you, what you think I did, how you think I did today. This is our Easter meal okay also for you kids that are watching y'all whip up something let me see what you can do you know what i'm saying get in the kitchen explore try new try different things or you know try different seasons because i know they don't have home economics in school no more so um ask your mom or your parent or ask who, your guardian if y'all can go in the kitchen and cook up something and start you know dipping and dabbing y'all know who i'm talking to also like subscribe comment down below um don't forget to hit the bell to be notified and if you're not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for it's free 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 everybody like free stuff so thanks for watching i love y'all peace